Hey what's going on guys, Signal here in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now before we get into the video I'd just like to say a couple things. Uh, firstly this is going to be a no face cam video because uh, I'm recording this way too late and I just got out of the shower and I just CBA. And uh, secondly, buy me pack. Alright, let's get into it. So uh, essentially what I've got is uh, just my song, I've marked out the two beats and I've got both my clips here. Uh, so I'm going to start off by just adding a simple velocity to both of these, just like so. I'm going to double click on the uh, the kill right here, which is just when the bullets leave the gun. I'm going to go back six frames, so one, two, three, four, five, six, right here. And I'm going to go forward three, so one, two, three. I'm going to set this last one to 50 and this one to 300. I'm also going to double click right after that. I'm going to set that to 200. And I'm going to do the same on the second one right here. So once you're done with that, uh, we can actually get into the actual transition. So let me just go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and split both of these. And I'm going to add an impact to both of these. Just like so. Uh, but as you can see right here, we need to transition in between these two clips. So what we're going to do is just make a new video track. Uh, press U on our keyboard, hold control and drag this up, then go down here and just hold control, click on both of these and press G on the keyboard. That's going to regroup them and make it way easier to control. Uh, now up here we have this little track. So what we're going to need to do is just go to the, uh, the very start of it and drag it back one frame, just like that. Now go to the start of that one frame, right click, go to insert, remove envelope and freeze frame a cursor. Now drag this back uh, 15 frames from where the clips meet. So that is going to be at 01 for me, which can be right here. Uh, now what you do is you essentially just split it uh, right there and just make sure that it's smooth, uh, that there's like a smooth transition from when this sort of stops and this uh, ends or whatever the fuck you say. Uh, but just make sure that it's smooth right here. So what you need to do here is just insert another video track uh, right here. Hold control and drag this up. Uh, now, uh, what you need to do here is essentially you need to just mask these out. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it on my second sort of project here because I've just been working on this on the second one. Uh, so essentially you have both of these right here. And I'm, I'm just going to leave this fucking call. There's just no point in me being in here. Uh, so you just go right here. And on the bottom one, you just mask out the uh, the actual character. Just like so. Uh, if we go down here, you just mask it out. Essentially, just nothing out of the ordinary. Just mask it out uh, completely normally. Don't do any of the small, uh, like, crevice thingies. You don't really need to do that. It looks way, way worse when you do it like that. So just mask out the entire blob. And then for the top one, you're going to want to do the exact same thing. However, at the very bottom, you just actually go ahead and drag around the entire uh, the, the, the entire screen pretty much. And then when you click on the mask with your normal edit tool, uh, you double click on it and you go down here. This should be on positive. So the red positive mask right there. And essentially, once you've done that, uh, it's gonna look something like this. Let me just make sure that I can actually Let me actually just show you the rest in this project right here So what what you need to do from here is Essentially you apply blur mode curves. So you go to the very start uh, Right here and you set the shift Y to 0 comma 5 uh, You then right click here set it to slow fade and now you set it to 1 uh, this is for the top one and then you go to the very uh, end and you set it to zero uh, Now for the bottom one uh, for the mask. It's a bit different You're gonna want to set the value to first negative 0 comma 5 and then negative 0 comma 8 uh, and remember to set that to slow fade as well and uh, Lastly what you want to do is for the bottom track I believe it is just down here you want to apply some black and white so you just start that right here and then you just fade it in until the end and lastly i'll just show you this in here you just uh you essentially just apply a beat shake 
to the end. So once it actually comes in, you'll get this little beat shake effect. Now I will have some free presets in the description that I have from other tutorials. There, there is going to be a whole drive link in there. Uh, so if you do need uh, any presets and don't really have any right now, uh, there will be a link to those for free, of course, in the description. Uh, so yeah, that is essentially the entire effect, pretty much. I will say that it is important for you to render uh, the project out in the same resolution as you're editing in. Uh, so for me, that's something 20 by 1080. Uh, so just make sure to render it out in that uh, resolution, essentially. And if you want to render out in 4K, you change the project to 4K. And if you want to render out in 2K, change it to 2K. Uh, but that is essentially it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.